treasure buried here, or my name's not Saltwater Sally. Arr! I hope we find gold. I hope we find jewels. Huh? I hope you find a light switch. My, it's dark down here. The cat in the hat. Hi, Sally. Hi, Nick. What are you digging for? Pirate treasure. Do you want to help? Oh, I do, I do. Ah, Captain Blacktail's the name. Treasure finding's the game. Right, Polly? Ah, find the treasure. Find the treasure. <laughs> so, let's see your treasure map. A map? What do you mean? You know, a picture of a place to help you find where you're going. You don't have one? No problem. You can use mine. Pirate rule number one. Don't leave home without your treasure map. Wow, it looks like an island. Is this a real pirate map? Well, a real pirate gave it to me. Wow. What does this big X mean? Well, that's where the buried treasure is, of course. Cool. Can we go find it? Of course we can. We'll go to the island of Tiki Taru. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. Let's go and ask. Mom, can we go to Tiki Taru Island to dig up pirate treasure? <laughs> sure, honey. Just leave me a shovel so I can plant my tomatoes, okay? Okay. Thanks, Mom. We can go! We can go! I know! I know! <laughs> to the thingamajigger! Buckle up, mateys! That's pirate rule number two. <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard! <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, the thing of my jigger is up and away. We're off on a quest to find our way to a full treasure chest. Here, Here we go, 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 on an adventure. Go, 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 go! Now, which island is Tiki Taru? Well, the one on the map is shaped like a banana. Hmm. There's a pineapple-shaped island, and there's a strawberry-shaped island. Is anyone else hungry? Hey, that one's banana-shaped. It looks just like the map. So it has to be Tiki Taru! Ah! Tiki Taru! Tiki Taru! <laughs> Come on, let's go find the treasure. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> um, which way is the treasure? Don't ask me, Nick. All I see is sand. <laughs> and a seesaw. <laughs> I love seesaws. Oh, they're so much fun. Is there room for three more? <laughs> <laughs> you guys really know how to teeter a totter. <laughs> Oops, I dropped the map. Hey, this seesaw is on the map. So this must be where we are. And this is where we want to go. Hmm, but I don't see an X around here. Hey, Polly's picture is on there. Ah! That's not your parrot cat. It's a rock that looks like a parrot. And there's the real one. The pictures on the map must show where the real things are on the island. Look, more pictures. Sunflowers and a big blue thing. They must be real places too. And they're all on the way from here to the treasure. Let's head for Parrot Rock. Come on. Oh, Nick, you're supposed to get off a seesaw slowly. That's pirate rule number three. <laughs> uh, sorry, Captain. Wow! Ha! I'm glad I don't have to clean his birdcage. <laughs> so, what's next after?
after Parrot Rock. On the way to the treasure, the next thing we see should be sunflowers. Oh. Ah! All I see is a big rock. Me too. Where are the sunflowers? Maybe they're on the other side of the mountain. We can't climb over that. Then we'll have to find a way around. Let's see the map again. Okay, here's Parrot Rock. But what's this long, curvy line here? Hmm, what is long and curvy and can go all the way around a mountain? While you guys are thinking, I'm going to check out this trail. <laughs> a trail! That's what the line means. There's a trail around Parrot Rock. <gasps> Maybe it leads to the sunflowers. Cat, wait up! Arr! Keep a close lookout for those sunflowers. I am, Cat, but all I can see are these skinny trees. Maybe we took the wrong trail. Maybe the map is wrong. Wrong? Wrong? After we came all this way? Oh, how cruel. How unfair. Yes! How yummy. Sunflower seeds. These aren't trees. They're giant sunflowers. Cool. That means our map was right after all. So all we have to do is get past this big blue thing. And we'll find our pirate treasure. Good news. Huh? I can see a big blue thingamaboo. You do? Where? What is it? I can't tell from here, but it's big and it's blue. <laughs> and I'm going to get there first. <laughs> <laughs> Last one to the big blue thingamaboo is a... Pollywet! Pollywet! What happened, Cat? I found the big blue thingamaboo. Turns out, it's a pond. My poor hat. Poor Polly. Anyone know if pond slime washes out? Yuck! Aw, oh, cheer up, Cat. We're almost there. Look. See the X? It's right there on that flag. We just have to cross this pond, but we haven't got a boat. Oh, but we do, my fine pirate crew. We just have to call for things one and two. <whistles> now flick the float of my boater. <whistles> All aboard, shipmates. Avast me, hearties. Sing with me! <laughs> We're the finest crew on the deep blue sea. Sally and Nick and the fish and me. We'll find that treasure, just yes, wait and see. see. Yo ho ho and a bowl of fish. My hat got slimy, but I don't care. A pirate captain always has a spare. And anyway, we're almost there. Yo ho ho and a bowl of fish. Land ahoy! <laughs> Blow me down! It's a tree house! A pirate tree house! I thought pirates buried their treasure! Guess we won't need this shovel after all! Ha ha ha! It's Sharky! The cat in the hat! You furry old barnacle! It's good to see ya! Nick! Sally! This is Sharky McGee! He's Hello. the pirate who gave me the map! I give them to all me friends so they can come visit me! Did the interesting little pictures on it help ye find your way? Yes, they were a big help. We went from the seesaw to Parrot Rock, past the sunflowers and over the pond, right here to you. Some call them little pictures landmarks. Landmarks? Cool. But if you made this map to help people come and visit you, does that mean there's no treasure? Of course I have a treasure. I'm a pirate, aren't I? Yay! <laughs> Ooh! Wow! Neat! Of course, I never had much use for gold and such. <gasps> so I use it to store me pens and me map-making papers. They're beautiful. Very piratey. <laughs> yes, indeedy they are. Uh, ye can take home one of each if you like. I have plenty. Really? Thanks, Sharky! Yeah, thanks! And I know just what to use it for. Bye-bye! Bye! Goodbye. And the X goes there. Done! Okay, Cat, you can look now.
<gasps> oh, my goodness, a new treasure map. With a real treasure. Have fun. Oh, I will, I will. A map is a picture of somewhere that's real. For finding your way, it's simply ideal. Just follow the pictures, it's as easy as that. And you'll get where you're going in no time flat. The treasure! Yippee! Yay! <gasps> My parrot! And all the slime cleaned off. Ah, oh, thanks, mateys. Pirate rule number four. A clean parrot is a happy parrot. Ah, I'm fluffy! I'm fluffy! <laughs> Hi, everybody. My super stumper of a question is about sea otters. <sighs> sea otters sleep in the water. Do you know how they stay together without floating away? <gasps> Did some of you say they hold paws? That's right. They hold onto each other's paws so they don't drift apart. You got it this time, but next time, I'll stump you for sure. <laughs> trouble. We sure do. Well, if there's one thing I know a lot about, it's how to build a tower. <laughs> Put this here. There you go. A perfect oh, pile of blocks. That's the same problem we had. Hmm. We need help. <gasps> Let's visit my friend Terry the Termite in the grassy grasslands of the Bobana Savanna. Aren't termites little bugs? They are, but they build awfully big towers. We gotta go see Terry! Your mother will not mind at all if you do. Mom, can we go visit Terry the termite and learn how to build a big tower? Terry the termite? <laughs> Good idea. Oh, and ask him to show you how to pick up your blocks, too. We can go! We can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! Terry's one mighty termitey. You're so righty. Buckle up. <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard. <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure, the thing of my jigger. Up and away. Go, 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 go. On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in a hat today. Terry the termite can build towers so high, he'll help us to raise one right up to the sky. Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure, go, 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 go. There's the Bobana Savanna. It really is grassy. But where are the termites? Whoa. Now that is a tower. A termite tower. There's Terry's place. How can a little bug build a tower like that? Let's ask Terry. <laughs> hmm. Terry! Cat in a hat? Is that you? <laughs> ha ha. There he is. Terry the termite, you old tower builder! We'll be right down! Press the shrink-a-ma-doodle! 
<laughs> what do you know? My old friend the cat. What brings a fine furry fellow like yourself to our little tower? Little? It's awesome! <laughs> yep, it's a doozy. By the way, I'm Terry the Termite. Hi, Terry the Termite. I'm Nick, the boy. <laughs> and I'm Sally. My friends are having trouble with their towers. They're way smaller than yours. And they always fall down. Well, if you really want to learn about towers, there's only one way to do it. Join the crew. The crew? whoop de doo we're in the crew. Uh, what's a crew do? The crews are the termite teams who build the towers. Excellent. Safety first. Now you're ready to build. The bottom of the tower is so wide. Has to be. Because the whole tower is built on top of it? You got it. A big, wide base keeps the tower steady and balanced. Then narrower and narrower the higher you go. That's the secret of a good tower. What's your tower made of, Terry? Sand. And a special glue the guys mix in as they carry it. Stand back! Mixing crew coming through! Hmm. I don't see them carrying any sand. Uh, it's uh, in their mouths! Right! And the glue is termite spit! <laughs> sure is! Best glue going! Nice work with the dirt, Bert. Cool! Ew! You want us to chew dirt? No, that's the mixing crew. Phew. You're on the fixing crew. Follow me. Wow, it's nice and cool in here. Oh, but maybe a little windy? Well, that's how we like it. We build our towers high so cool breezes blow through. Fixing crew, this way. <gasps> is big. Uh-oh. What happened here? Hmm. Crack in the wall. We get them all the time. Fixing is our job for today. The mixing crew already left us some dirt. You ready, fixing crew? I'm on it. <laughs> We're all on it. With sand and spit, we'll fix the wall, fix the wall, fix the wall. With sand and spit, we'll fix the wall, fix the wall today. With sand and spit, we'll fix the wall, fix the wall, fix the wall. With sand and spit, we'll fix the wall, fix the wall today. of the tower means trouble. Fixing crew, let's roll! What is that? It's enormous! With a nose for trouble! <laughs> I recognize that nose! <gasps> and teeth for trouble! Teeth trouble is way worse than nose trouble! What should we do, Cat? Let me think. What should we do? I know! Run! It's a huge pink tower eating monster! No, Raymond's a desert mole rat. He's ruining all your work. We've got to stop him. Leave it to me. <laughs> Raymond! I'm here! Raymond's a nice guy, but he's got no sense of direction, and he doesn't see too well. Raymond, hello! Uh, oh, why, Raymond, what big teeth you have. Thanks. They're my best feature. Make him stop, make him stop! Get him, get him, get him! Look out, Raymond! Watch where you're walking! Whoops, didn't see you there. Look out! Whoops, didn't see you there either. I've never met a mole rat before. Neither have I. Well, that's because mole rats live underground. You know you need to be underground. You'll get a sunburn. 
I'm not underground. Where am I? The termite tower. You dug a hole in it again. Oh, dear. I am sorry. I thought I was digging down. Oh. Raymond! No! Oh. You! Oh, close one. No problem, Raymond. You just get back in your tunnel. Oh. Raymond! No! Raymond! Oh. Can we help him, Cat? A mole rat is lost. Oh, what's to be done? It must be a job for thing two and thing one. <laughs> this hole in the base of the tower fixed. Can you do it? Yes! With sand and stick, we'll fix the wall. Fix the wall, fix the wall. With sand and stick, we'll fix the wall. Fix the wall today. With sand and stick, we'll fix the wall. Fix the wall, fix the wall. With sand and stick, we'll fix the wall. Fix the wall today. Well, how did we do? That looks great! You're real termite tower builders now! We learned it from Terry, and now we know why. Some towers topple, and others stand high. If you want to build towers that stay in one place, remember to give them a wide, solid... Base! Bye, Terry. Thanks for teaching us about towers. Now we've got to build one at home. Remember, it's all about the base! Careful. We did it! That's a really big tower! With a really wide base, so it won't fall over. That tower's so big, we used up all of our blocks to make it. So, what do you want to do now? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> 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 now let's build a new one! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Froggy! Welcome to Hat Chat. We are here in the forest looking for our guest. Froggy! Oh, I found him! No, I see him over here. Great! Two frogs are even better than one. Ahem. I am a toad. I am a frog. But you look the same. Look closer. Frogs prefer to live in or around water so they are smooth and moist. Yes, and toads prefer living on land so they have warts to blend into the forest floor. Look, us frogs don't have warts. You are different. Yes, and toad's legs are a little shorter than a frog's. See? We're really quite different, but we both love to jump. Do you want to jump with us? Yeah! That ends our interview with a frog and a toad. Bye! The busy bee flies fast and low. Flower to flower, watch her go. Landing on the plants below. She helps to make the flowers grow. And everywhere she lands, buzzing to and fro, the busy bee is moving, spreading pollen as she goes. Everywhere she lands, buzzing to and fro, the busy bee is helping all the plants and flowers grow. In the flower's center, there is a little wick. The pollen coats the surface, it's fluffy and it's thick. When the bee gets closer, its body makes it stick. When it moves from plant to plant, oh, that's what does the trick. she lands, buzzing to and fro. The busy bee is moving, spreading pollen as she goes. The busy bee is helping all the plants and flowers grow. How do we know a bird is a bird? Do we ask it politely and take the bird's word? Do we know 
know it's a bird when it crosses the sky? That sounds pretty good. But some birds don't fly. Do only birds sing? Is that how we tell? But whales are not birds, and they sing songs as well. Ah, says the cat. I'm still ever so clever, for I know an answer that will last forever. What makes it a bird? Let's all say it together. Lies under my hat. Yes, you're right. It's a feather. All birdies have feathers, big ones and tiny. Some feel so soft and some are quite spiny. They help a bird fly, keep it warm as can be. And some make the bird look as handsome as me. The mystery solved by the cat in the hat. All birds have feathers, and that's simply that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Today's question is about beavers. What do beavers do when they're scared by something? Scared by a loud noise like this? <laughs> So do you know what beavers do when they're scared? Did some of you say they slap their tails on the water, then hide? That's right. They make a big noise to warn all the other beavers to hide too. 